in this part of the series we will be implementing two health bars in our game uh, one health bar for the player as you can see in the top here and we will also be implementing a health bar for our enemy the health bar part of this video is based on my health bar tutorial so if you haven't watched that already and created the project i suggest that you go to that video and watch the video and create the health bar because we will be taking that health bar from the project and we'll be importing it into this project so that we can just take it and use it here so if you want to watch that health bar video you can click on the screen right here or you can click the link in the description below um, the people that has have watched my health bar video might notice that these sprites looks a little different um, than the sp sprites from the health bar video and that's because I've made some sprites that looks a little more like the style of these sprites we're using here um, you can of course use your own sprites uh, for this or you can use the sprites from the health bar tutorial if you already acquired those sprites um, I just figured that I would create some sprites that looks a little better here um, because um, I would like them to fit with the style here so there's no shadows and everything that makes it look like a little more 3D uh, like health bar um, so if you're interested in these sprites, you can of course also acquire those by downloading the project here. Um, if you already um, bought this project, you can of course re-download the files and in the file package, these sprites for the health bars will also be included, of course. So uh, let's see, we have the player's health bar here. And as you can see here, every time the player takes damage, the health bar up here will reflect his health. Um, it might take a little while for her to kill him because he has that immortality every time she attacks him um, right now we can't see the enemy's uh, health bar but um, the first time the enemy takes damage um, the health bar on top of the enemy here will appear and as long as the enemy doesn't have full health uh, this health bar here on top of her uh, will be visible so as you can see if we kill her she will die right here and she has zero health and when she uh, respawns the health bar will be gone again because we, she haven't taken any damage and when we attack her the health bar will show up again and as you can see with our player when he dies it shows that he has zero health and when he respawns the health bar will of course fill up again to a hundred health so that's basically what we are going to implement throughout this uh, part of the series Okay, so the first thing we'll have to do uh, before we can actually start to implement the bar in this project is to create an asset package of the actual health bar from the health bar project. So if you have your health bar project, uh, if you either have downloaded it or if you have created the health bars uh, by following the tutorial, uh, then you need to open up the, the project. Uh, my project looks like this. And then we'll have to create an asset package that contains these different assets here so that we can import them in our other project uh, with our 2D platformer. So uh, first of all, to create an asset package, we can go to the menu called assets. And up here, there is an export package button. So we'll have to click on that. And when we've done that, we will need to select the actual assets that we need to implement. And as you can see, I can't see all my assets here because I had sprites selected when I opened it up. So now I can only see the sprites up in this window. Um, so basically I'll have to close this one and select the asset folder up here and then go to assets and export package. And now you can see, I can see everything up here. So the asset store tool is not something I'll need. So I'm going to remove that. You won't, not, you won't have this in your project. So just ignore that. The font I would like to implement um, I don't need the, the, um, the actual scene because I'm going to put it in my own scene. I need the bar prefab, I need the canvas prefab, and then I need the bar script, the player script, I don't need that. Uh, the stat script, I will need that, and the sprites, well, if you don't have new sprites, then I suggest that you implement or you keep the health bar sprite here, but I have new sprites uh, for for my project here so you can simply just um, if you have the new sprite then you can uncheck this but if you are going to use the sprites that we have here then you need to keep this one checked of course so I'm just going to keep this one checked now so that you can see how to implement it with this one 
and then I'm going to show you how to use new sprites if that what you want if what you have so uh, we need to click the export button and then I'm going to navigate to my desktop and I'm going to find uh, the folder called uh, import that's just a folder I made you can put it on your desktop or anywhere else you can find it and then we have to write um, health bar package for example and save so now it creates a health bar package when you've done that you can actually close down your health bar project and after that you can open up your 2d platformer project again so inside the 2d platformer project we will have to implement this um, this new asset package so you can go to assets and then you can import package and then you select custom package and then you navigate to the location where you put your uh, new package and then you click on it and then it shows everything that it wants to implement um, and as you can see here it's going to add the bar script and the stat script and so on when you have selected the things that you want you simply click the import button and then it imports everything and as you can see here yeah here is my health bar um, and of course in the prefabs now we have our bar and our canvas here um, and the canvas should have the different bars on it so first of all we will need to add the players uh, bar to the to the window here or to, to our game so the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to use the original sprites from the health bar tutorial and when I've done that I'm going to show you how you can use your own sprites or some other sprites or those sprites that I'm using uh, throughout this tutorial so to do this you'll have to take the canvas and drag it onto the screen and as you can see here when you drag the canvas in we can call this health canvas just to distinguish it from the others uh, then you'll see there are three bars on it and we only need a health bar so we can simply take the energy bar and the shield bar and delete them when we have the health bar we can take it and place it wherever we want to on the screen um, right now it's the top left corner here um, I'm later going to place collectibles in the top left corner so instead of this I'm going to place it in the top right corner here because I would like my collectibles to be over here instead um, so this is basically how you add the health bar uh, to the screen if you are going to use the original sprites uh, that I was using but if you want the other sprites uh, let's see if I can find the folder um, here on my desktop and port here I have like something else called health bar and I'll have to drag that one into my game here so let's see if I can select unity here we go so you just take the new sprites and you drag them into your um, your project folder and when you've done that you can delete the original sprites or the old sprites and then I'm going to rename this one to health bar uh, actually health bar capital B and when you've done that you select them you make sure that it is it is set to sprite 2d and UI the sprite mode here will be multiple and we go to sprite editor apply and then we go to slice and we slice them then slice everything up as you can see these sprites are just flat without any shadows and everything so they fit this uh, project better then we simply apply and jump back to um, to unity and when we're back here it should have sliced your sprites up so the next thing we can do is to start to um, put them on the right places up here if we select our health bar you will see the first thing that is missing is our source image and on our health bar we'll have to select the yellow bar because that's the background so we select missing sprite and we find basically it's easier to drag it from here because we have so many sprites I just forgot so select your health bar find the yellow sprite here and drag it onto a position here select uh, the icon and take the health heart or whatever you want to put it there and what else do we need if we take the mask here we'll have to take the brown thing and put up here and then we have the last um, under the mask we have our content and then we'll take the white bar and drag onto here 
And then we simply take the color of the white bar and make it red, um, as red as you want it. I want it like this. There we go. Okay, um, if we look at the heart right now, there is a shadow on it. Uh, I'm not sure that I want that in the game. Let's see if I maximize how it looks. Mm, I'm not so happy about the, the shadow. So I'm going to remove the shadow by right clicking and remove component. So now I have some very plain things here. Uh, maybe I would like an outline around my heart. So if you have the icon selected, you can also add component um, and write outline. It's going to make an outline around the heart. And I think this looks uh, way better than before. But of course, you can play around with this and put it exactly as you want it. Um, I I'm simply doing whatever I think looks best. And as you can see here, he doesn't have health because we haven't set it up yet. Um, but for now, we have actually set up the player's health um, right now, or the health, the health bar for our player right now. So that's all you needed to do to implement the health bar from the health um, tutorial project into the 2D platformer project. Okay, so when we have done that, we will need to implement the health stat on our player or, or the stats on the player so that the player can actually use our health bar here. Um, so basically, I'm just going to make this a little more red. There we go. So basically, we'll have to open up our player script. So go to your scripts and find your player. And in here, we'll have to change his health. Uh, right now, I think he has an integer as health. And we will have to replace that one with... Um, with the actual, let's just resize this, with the actual health stat. So let's see, what do we have here? Do we have something about health? Yeah. He has something called health, uh, and right now his health is hidden in the character script, actually, right here. Um, he has a health here in the character script. So right now I can't just remove this health from the character script because our enemy is also dependent on this, um, but we will move it in the next video when we implement it on the enemy. So right now we're going to implement it in the player and make everything work. And then when we have done that, then in the next video we'll take and move the essential part from the player into the character uh, and then implement it in the enemy. So we are going to do this step by step so you can see how everything works. Um, so let's see, we take our player and first of all we need to give him a health stat so he can actually interact with uh, our health bar. So if you remember from, from the uh, health bar tutorial we actually created something called a stat class and this stat class will be driving our actual health bar so somewhere up here in your fields it can be anywhere um i can simply just do it after my uh, dead event here i make a um, private um, stat called health stat and this one is going to be serialized uh, serialized field here we go and then we save okay so the player is dependent on his health at a lot of different places in 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 this code here and right now in the stat we have something called max value and we have the current value and when we create a health stat the max value is the maximum health of the player and the current value is actually the current health of the player so everywhere we're using max health we need to replace it with max value and everywhere we are using the current health of the player we need to use uh, uh, replace it with current value instead so let's uh, just try to search here if i press ctrl f and i write health then you'll see every place i'm using health is lighting up here so basically i'm going to use here called health stat dot current value so if my current value of the health is less or equal to zero then i'm dead and else I am going to return my health stat dot current value here. Okay, let's keep scrolling down. Inside our take damage function, we also have health. Uh, the other place, sorry if I didn't tell you. We have a property called is dead, and it's inside that one we have our health here. So you simply have to find your is, is dead property and then replace health with health stat and current value. The other place we need to find is our take damage i numerator function and here it's reducing his health with 10 but here we actually have to say um, health stat uh, not health but health stat dot current health or current value minus equals 10 and what else down here in death we also reset our health to 50 
But what we actually want to do when we die and we respawn, we will actually like to reset our health to max health. So we write health stat dot uh, current value is equal to health stat dot max value. So this will reset our health to the maximum value it can have. So he regains his full health when he dies. And that's basically it. The next thing we need to do is to go back to the inspector or back to Unity. And now we need to find our player. And when you've clicked on your player, and if you scroll down, um, there should be something called health stat here. And I'm just going to move this so you can actually see something uh, from my picture down there. I'm not sure if it's covering it. Um, as you can see on our player, in the inspector, if we select our player and go to the inspector, we will see something called health stat. And if we open that up, we'll see that it's asking for a bar. So we simply have to take our health bar and drag it all the way over here and drop it. So it has the health bar script on it. Then we need to tell it what's our max value. Well, my max value is going to be 100. And my current health when I start out is going to be 100. So right now, everything is actually set up. So if we put this one back here, um, that's not what I want to do. There we go. So if we put this one back, then you'll see that we can play our game. And right now he has zero value. So I forgot to do something and I remember what I forgot to do. Uh, we forgot to initialize our health. So if you remember from the health bar tutorial, we always need to initialize the health because if we go to our stat function, I think, um, yeah, here, here we have an initialized function and it says sets the max value equal to the max value and the current value equal to the current value. And I'm never calling this from my player. So I need to go back to the player, find start. And down here, I need to say health stat dot initialize. There we go. So if I do that and save and then jump back to the game and play again, let's see what happens. Then my health is a hundred. So let's see if I can take some damage here. And when she attacks me, um, I actually re get my he health reduced here. Um, maybe it's a little, it's a lot I put here. Let's just say that I want my current health to be 20 when I start. As you can see, I have 20 health. And if I die now, let's take one more hit and then I should die. There we go. Then I die, zero health and respawn to 100 health. So that's all it took to be able to implement uh, the health bar from the health bar tutorial into this project. Uh, remember, you can find um, the actual health bar project uh, link uh, or the link to the tutorial in the description below. Um, so I think that's it for this video. And in the next video, we will be implementing the health bar for our enemy instead. Um, thank you very much for watching. And remember to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for updates. Also, if you have any suggestions for this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, then please don't hesitate to write something in the comments. Uh, basically, this health bar thing here is based on comments from you guys. Um, and the health bar on the enemy is also especially based on, on comments from you guys. Uh, so if you come with some uh, nice suggestions, of course, I'm going to implement them. Um, also, don't forget that Inscope Studios is a community founded page. So if you like my videos and you would like to support me, you can do this in two different ways. You can click the Patreon link in the top to go to the Patreon page and see which different perks you can get. You can, for example, get all the projects that I've made, uh, including this project and all the sprites and everything that I'm using in these videos. Or you can simply just click the uh, link in the, uh, in the bottom of the screen where you can get this standalone project here with all the sprites and everything. Or you can, of course, go and get any of my other projects as well.